Howdy y'all, this is Mr. Chase, and this is going to be our last lesson of Unit 5. This is called Problem Solving, Two Question Problems, and we've already had several of these in our classroom, and we call them twofers in the classroom. The students aren't a big fan of these because it takes a little bit more thinking than a normal problem, which you're going to be seeing in a lot of these questions. So it's more than one step. You can't just plop into the question, circle the 3, circle the 8, and say, oh, 3 plus 8 is 11, because it might work for a little bit, but it's not going to get you the right answer in the long run. Okay, So let's take a look at this question. It says Mrs. Williams bought three pizzas for $8 each. She gave the cashier $30. How much change did she receive? Okay, So the big important pieces of information here are three pizzas and $8 each. And then she gave the cashier $30. These are all important things. Step one of this problem is going to be figure out how much money that she needs to spend on pizza. So that problem is going to be three times eight and we need to figure that out so right now we need to use one of the strategies to figure out three times eight now we know strategies for zero one two five and nine at this point uh, and we don't know any for three or eight we could use repeated addition we could say eight plus eight plus eight or we could draw an array I'm just gonna stick to eight plus eight plus eight because it's gonna be a little bit quicker for us today eight plus eight I can count up and that's sixteen and then 16 plus 8 more is going to be 24. Okay, So we know that, that Mrs. Williams has spent $24 on pizza. That's step one. A lot of people are going to be content with that first step, but this is a two-question problem, a twofer, as we call it in here. Okay, So Mrs. Williams gave the cashier $30, so we need to see how much change did she receive. Okay, So we're going to take that $30, and we're going to subtract it, subtract $24. Okay, now we're going to have to use some subtraction strategies here. So we're going to have to regroup. The 3 is going to turn into a 2. I'm going to borrow 10 from him. And that 0 turns into a 10. Some people write it like that. Some people cross it off and write it above. Either way, whatever you're comfortable, I like. 10 minus 4 is 6. And then 2 minus 2 is 0, so I'm just going to leave that blank, and we have $6 left. Now, there are some other strategies over here you can use. Here's the repeated addition scene with the bar diagrams that we've used several times throughout the Envision program. Let's do one more before we call it a day here. Number 1A. Ray bought a pair of sunglasses for $22 and a hat for $19. How much money did the items cost? Okay, so this one is actually nice because this one is just a one-time a one question, 22 and 19. To figure out how many in all I have, I'll ha all I have to do is add those, 22 plus 19. I'm going to stack those up to the side. 2 plus 9 is 11. Put the 1 down there. Carry this one in the tens column. And then add up my tens column. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So I have $41 in all. But we're not done. you got to look over to B here. And we're going to use that answer to answer 1B. Ray gave the cashier a $50 bill. How much change should Ray receive? So very similar to the top problem we did. If he got $50 to the cashier and he spent $41, we're going to have to stack and subtract there. I can't do 0 minus 1 if the bottom's bigger borrow. So I'm going to borrow from over here in the tens. That turns into a 4. My 0 turns into a 10. 10 minus 1 equals 9. And that 9 is going to squeeze in here. And we're going to know that $9 is what we'll, Ray will receive in change. So remember when we're doing two question problems? Figure out what the problem is actually asking. And don't just give up when you do the first step. You can do it.